Hello all. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn about two important mechanisms in PHP that are include and redirect. So let's uh, understand them one by one. So we are back to sublime text. So first of all, we are going to learn about include. So include is this uh, mechanism in PHP using which you can include one file or the content of one file into another. Okay. So uh, I'll explain why you have to do it or, or why you should do it. But before that, let's have a demo. Okay. So let's create a new file and save it as include demo.php. Let's create one more file and let's save this as sample data dot php okay in the sample data dot php file we are going to add some random text we are going to pick that text from lipson let's copy this copy paste view what app so this is the file sample data let's save it let's go back to include demo.php and let's start with the php tags and over here let's print out echo this is the native file like this okay let's save it now let's go to our url localhost php demo and over here you will write include demo.php and it says this is the native file okay so quite expectedly now what i want is i want to display this content on this page okay so this can be done using include and over here inside braces or bra uh, comma inverted commas you have to give the path of the second file since both the files are in the same directory we are simply providing the name of the file okay let's save it let's go back and reload and now if you can see this is the content from the sample text file and this is our content this is the native file so this is how very simply you can include one or multiple files from uh, in php uh, where the content of the requested file will appear depends on the position of calling it so suppose if you cut and paste it here it will come after the native file text so if you reload now you can see it starts after that okay so this was how to use include <clears throat> there is one more statement similar to include which is called require okay so let's save it and let's reload and as you can see there is no difference okay so why using two different keywords for the same purpose the reason is this let's change the file name to be sample underscore data one dot php which is not present in our directory so now if i'll save and reload now as you can see php shows or throws a fatal error because it says I'm not able to find sample data one dot PHP. So I'm not going to continue with the script. So it didn't even print it out this thing. But if you will use include and save and reload, even though it threw a warning, but it still continued with the script and printed out the next statement. So this is the basic difference between include and require. So require throws a fatal error if the resource is not found and include continues with the script and it just throws a warning. Now, uh, as I told uh, you in the beginning of the video that I'll explain uh, what is the use case and uh, for using include or require. So guys, uh, when you will be creating large projects or even intermediate projects, you will be using databases. So now your PHP will be talking to the database. Now, every time you want to communicate with the database, you need to provide a set of credentials like username and password. Now, 
for every PHP file that is going to use the database, you have to provide the credentials. So one way of doing it is that you write those credentials in every file. Okay. Now imagine a scenario where you have just changed your server configuration. You have changed the password and now you have 100 PHP files which are using databases. So now you have to go and make edits in all those 100 files. Obviously it's not good. So what you do is you create a separate configuration file for databases, something like database.php and you include it into every PHP file that wants database access. Now, since database operations are very important, you just don't want to continue with the PHP script if the database configuration is incorrect or not found. So in those scenarios, you will use require instead of include. Now let's discuss one more use case where you will use include rather than require. So suppose uh, your, your uh, website has a navigation bar. So this is a website over here. If you can see, this is the navigation bar. Okay. Now, if you know navigation bars are generally common, if you consider Facebook, that blue colored navigation bar is common across pages. It's same, right? So again, one way of doing it is that you include or write down the code of that navigation bar into every page that you create. But again, the problem of edit will come. What if I'll have to change certain, I have to add some more menus. So I have to do it again every time and again. So instead of that, what people do is they write the code, the HTML code of navigation bar into a separate PHP file and they uh, kind of include it into every PHP file that is going to use it. So now if you want to add a menu, you can simply go and change that into one navigation.php. Now in this scenario, it's not a uh, very much required there if there is an issue even though we'll like to present the user with the web page so in this scenario you'll be using include okay great so now that we have an understanding of include and require we are going to discuss one more important thing that is redirects so we are saving this file as redirect demo dot php so if you remember whenever we wanted to redirect a user to some other page in html we used the anchor or a tag so what if i want to redirect the user using php this can be done using a function called header and inside header you write location colon space the name of the file to where you want to redirect the user so suppose i want to redirect him to this hello world.php file okay so i'll just write hello underscore world.php so now whenever anyone will open this particular file what will happen is this particular piece of code will be executed and it will tell the browser to redirect the user to this file so eventually the content of this file will be printed okay so let's save the file and let's reload the name of our file is <coughs> redirect underscore demo dot php and now if you can see the url has been changed to hello world dot php and the output is the same okay so this is how you redirect users using php